Tonight, Austin ISD leaders outlined their request for lawmakers who will return to the state capitol in January. The district warns that teachers could be laid off if changes aren't made to how schools are funded. KXAN Politics reporter John Engel breaks down why last session's historic school funding bill is also in jeopardy. A lot of teachers are a little bit worried about the layoffs. Mario Pena has taught for eight years in Austin ISD, now unsure how much longer that'll last. If we look at numbers, we look at you know financials, um, it doesn't seem like education is something that we value. The Texas Education Agency won't financially punish districts with declining enrollment for this first semester. Austin ISD saying they need that protection extended to a full year to prevent layoffs and cuts to important programs. We think we should be given the same dollars as if every student showed up because there's been so many additional expenses. The 2019 Texas legislature was celebrated for passing a historic public school funding bill. But that funding is tied to a budget surplus made during good economic times. The coronavirus pandemic and hits to the oil market mean there won't be a budget surplus at all. We're instead $4.6 billion in the hole heading into next session. We did not put any sustainable revenue streams in place to keep the promise that we made to kids and that we made to teachers. So I think we need to look at where we find additional revenue to ensure that this investment is continued over the long term. Austin ISD is asking the state legislature to tie funding to enrollment instead of daily attendance. Advocates say enrollment is more stable and would help during the pandemic. There are a lot of merits to uh, moving from one to the other. That's probably going to be a longer term conversation, but now is certainly as good a time as any to start having it. John Engel, KXAN News. No action was taken at tonight's meeting. Austin ISD leaders said they will continue to advocate for help from local, state, and federal leaders.